Number 14, Jared Taylor. Who is Jared Taylor? Well, I don't have to tell you. This video from 2017 will show you. They've been called a hate group and they're making their way to Middle Tennessee. News Channel 5's John Will Newland looked into this group and joins us from the newsroom. John Will, they're holding a conference in the Mid-State in just about a month. Yeah, that's right, Carrie. It's called the American Renaissance Conference, and according to the Southern Poverty Law Center, it's an extremist group that promotes the studies and research to show the inferiority of blacks to whites. And in a couple weeks, hundreds from that group will be in Middle Tennessee with a strong all-white message, a message that will likely not be welcomed by everyone. Montgomery Bell State Park in Dixon County. Nearly 4,000 acres of nature and outdoor activities. The inn here may be quiet now, but in four weeks, this area will be packed with folks for the American Renaissance Conference. The American Renaissance Magazine was founded in 1990 by Jared Taylor, an American white nationalist and white supremacist who told me by phone the conference has occurred at the state park every year since 2012 mainly because a government-owned building and property cannot succumb to protest intimidation like private hotels in the past. On its website, attendees are invited to, quote, discuss the way forward for white America and the Western world. You're probably thinking, but that was from a news story. We didn't hear him say anything. Okay, well, here's a continuation of that video. In an upscale suburb outside Washington, D.C., Jared Taylor runs the American Renaissance website. So this is where you run American Renaissance? Uh, this is the place, yeah. The site specializes in what many consider hate. American Renaissance is a website that is devoted to the legitimate interests of whites as a racial group. Brian Lenz is a researcher at the Southern Poverty Law Center, an organization that studies hate groups in the United States. The SPLC has tracked American Renaissance for years. It is a website, it is a, it is a journal, and they have this idea that, for example, African Americans are a, a quote, retrograde species of humanity. Uh, it, it's an ugly ideology that they espouse. Taylor began American Renaissance as a newsletter in 1990. It later morphed into a website. The internet gives this small operation a big reach. It has been a complete transformation. As a print publication, we never had more than four or 5,000 readers. But online, we get 400,000 individual computers coming to our site every month. So it has expanded our reach terrifically. White nationalist groups like American Renaissance and the newer alt-right movement rely on the Internet to spread their message. I'd like to speak today on the subject of white identity. They use articles, videos, and podcasts posted online and spread through social media. Uh, it's also a place where people can adopt and radicalize themselves without having to come out of the shadows of anonymity. You, know, here's a video. you won't find swastikas or Ku Klux Klan hoods on the American Renaissance website. It's wrapped in a button-down veneer of respectability, all designed to draw people in. Taylor says it's working. You don't find uh, the Ku Klux Klan making great headways on cottage campuses or provoking uh, burgeoning podcast uh, or a video cast phenomena. No, it's people who are more like me. Nazis don't come anymore, uh, you know, with, a, with an armband and a swastika. That Sometimes they come with a suit and a tie. This is from the Southern Poverty Law Center. Jerry Taylor, in his personal bearing and the tone, Jerry Taylor projects himself as a courtly presenter of ideas that most would describe as a cruelly white supremacist, a kindly modern day version of a refined but racist colonialist of old. Taylor is the founder of the New Century Foundation and a edited in now discontinued American Renaissance magazine, which despite its pseudo-academic polish, regularly published proponents of eugenics and blatant anti-black racism, as of the last print issue of American Renaissance magazine was published in January 2012, Jared Taylor concentrated entirely on the magazine website amrin.com. Taylor also hosted an annual American Renaissance conference where racist intellectuals rubbed shoulders with Klansmen, neo-Nazis, and other white supremacists. In his own words, in quote, Blacks and whites are different. When blacks are left entirely onto their own devices, Western civilization, any kind of civilization, disappears. American Renaissance, 2005. End quote. Our rulers and media executives will try to turn the story of Harry Katrina into yet another morality tale of downtrodden blacks and heartless whites. 
But many whites will realize some of the first time that we have we have Africa in our midst, that ugly alien Africa of roadside corpses, cruelly, cruelly cruelty and art anarchy that they thought could never wash up to the our shores. American Renaissance, 2005. At the most basic racial consciousness has as its goal in preservation of certain people, its aim is to rekindle among whites what every previous generation until recently so took for granted. They did not even give it a name, an instinctive preference for their own people and culture, a strong desire that they should prosper. I know that every other racial group acts on healthy instincts and desire. Race realism therefore has no theory of religion, the family art, or role of government, except in a very general senses that expects whites to love first and foremost the infinite riches created by European man. American Renaissance website 2008. Europe, Europe is is in a life of death struggle. Europe can't remain Europe without Europeans. When we are being replaced by non-Europeans, it threatens our core way of life. Taylor and White Nationalism Conference, Budapest, Hungary, October 2014. Background. Born to the missionary parents in Japan, Taylor lived in, in that country until he was 16. He graduated from Yale University in 1973 with a bachelor's degree in philosophy and graduated from Institute de Etudes Politicus. De Paris, Science Political. In 1978, with a master's degree in international economics, Taylor Smith speaks a fluent Japanese and French. In the 1980s, Taylor was West Coast editor of PC Magazine Whoa. and consultant, and particularly for companies working in Japan. Taylor also has taught Japanese to summer school students at Harvard University. Now, let me say something. When did the end first came around? Back in the 80s. Also, the ending was a white supremacist thing creation. So it shouldn't be no surprise that Taylor was an editor for PC Magazine in 1980. Taylor entered the active racist scene in the 1990s when he founded the New Century Foundation, a pseudo-intellectual think tank that promotes research arguing for white superiority. A year later, he began publishing the American Renaissance, a magazine that focused on alleged links between race and intelligence and on eugenics, the now de discredited science for breeding better humans. The magazine also published dozens of racist articles by several different authors, never in the history of, oh, sorry, in quote, never in the history of the world has a dominant people thrown open the gates to strangers and pour its wealth out to aliens. A Thomas Jackson wrote in 1991. In the second volume of the magazine, Jackson, a frequent contributor to the magazine who writes under the pseudonym, according to Taylor, also said, a healthy people prefer the company of their own. It has nothing to do with hatred. All men love their families more than they love their neighbors, but it does not mean they hate their neighbors. Whites who love their racial family need bear no ill will towards non-whites. They wish only to be left alone to participate in unfolding of their racial and cultural destinies. Jackson's conclusion is that the current situation where whites are expected to live with non-whites and devote themselves to non-white interests is utterly unnatural. What do you think about this intellectual bigot, Jerry Taylor, Yuki? So we saw then. in the picture of him with all the other Instagram makers and so how he his words and his works pretty much it's the reason why we got so much white supremacy in the modern day bro they're looking at it right now where uh, can they find you Yuki you can find me on my website Yuki the snowman .com. you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash you get a snowman on Instagram Twitter and YouTube you can find me at Yuki the summer 314 and if you want to hit up my cash up my cash up is Benjamin A. Snow you want to find me I'm on YouTube at Dark Dreams Bright Ideas I'm on Twitter at SuperLostFan108 you can also find me on my cash app down in the description below we see you guys and gals in the next one later